Hi everyone, welcome back to Mass Effect 2. So last time we spoke to our new Geth friend and I said I would talk to the entire crew again to see how they feel about the things and well just Shepard, see. Need me for something. So he is still on the minute. same things. Can it wait for a bit? I'm in the middle of some kind And doesn't do have anything new. <clears throat> so over to Miranda. See if she has anything new. Commander, what can I do for you? You have a minute, Miranda? There's a lot to do, Shepard. I'll let you work. Time. Of course, Commander. So she doesn't. There's really not a lot to do, it seems. Thane. Do you need something? Do you mind if I ask you a few questions? Not at all. We've heard that, like so... You. Have a few minutes to talk. Very well. I am... I had been recording a message for Kolyat. How are things going with him? It is difficult. All things worth keeping are. I never explained. I suppose the story of my wife's death took you by surprise. Uh... Yeah, well, somehow... I figured you'd explain to me when you were ready. I appreciate your patience. I kept my word clear of our home life. I assumed that would be enough to protect Erika. That memory I mentioned before. Laser dot trembles on the target's skull. The smell of spice on a spring wind. Sunset eyes defiant in the scope. That was Erika. That was how I met her. She saw my targeting laser as she walked by and threw herself in the way. So how did she go from blocking your shot to having your children? I had to meet her. The memory possessed and endowed me. I fell on my knees before her, begged her pardon. She introduced me to the world beyond my work. Eventually she forgave me. Later, she loved me. I guess she impressed you. She woke me up. Her body trembles. Not fear. Indignation. Her mouth moves. How dare you? You and I train to sacrifice ourselves to save others. How often does a civilian step in the way of a bullet to protect someone they've never met? I thought she was the goddess Hirashu. She met my eyes through the scope, and my purpose faltered. When you talked to Cole yet, you said she died. I let myself become complacent. I thought Erika and Kolyad were safe. I stayed away too long, and my enemies came for her. Who came for her? Batarians. A slaver ring that was preying on Hanar out her colonies. I'd killed their leaders. They paid the Shadow Broker to find out who I was. But they were afraid of me. So they went after her. You told Kolyad that you hunted her killers down. Erika woke me up. When she passed, I returned to my battle sleep. My body hunted her killers, murdered them. I was taught to grant death quickly, cleanly, to minimize suffering. Them. I let them linger. You were operating on instinct. By your own rules, you can't blame yourself. But I made the choice to hunt them. They're the only lives I've ever taken of my own choice. The only deaths on my own conscience. I haven't spoken about my wife in... I don't think I ever have. I didn't have anyone left to tell it to. Thane, the worst thing is to face death with regrets. You're part of my crew, and I consider you a friend. If there's anything I can help you with, just ask. I've never been part of a team. Assassins tend to be solitary. I'm learning the virtues of facing death with others at your side. It's a work in progress. Okay, so there we had something new. Don't Do you think something? we have... All right, right now. Later. I'd like to yep. consider what okay. we've already discussed. I should go. I, I should return to my meditations. Uh, so who's left on this floor? It's Samara. I don't think there's more in here. Oh. Probably not. I wanted to check in. I am always happy to talk with you. I'm interested in hearing more about Asari Justicars. It's 
so I'm guessing we get more here as well. We hold a unique place in Asari culture. Justicars are from another era. Young Asari grow up watching vids about our adventures. Pure fiction, of course. Some Asari are uncomfortable with us, but so few Justicars exist that most have never met one. There were only a few Justicars? Few Asari wish to make the sacrifices necessary to become one of us, and the training has a high casualty rate. It is a life of constant danger. Throughout the entire galaxy, there are only a handful of us at any time. Why would anyone want to be a Justicar? It is a deeply personal matter. Sometimes the most brutal path is the only honest one. This code of the Justicar seems central to your life. It is 5,000 sutras and covers every situation one can encounter. I have memorized every word. There is only the code. Sometimes justice calls for mercy. It does not exist to bring about spiritual enlightenment. Its purpose is to punish the wicked and protect the innocent. The Asari I've spoken to seem conflicted about Justicars. In this age, people see shades of grey everywhere. The code of the Justicar is black and white. I might seem a hero to many, but I would kill all of them if I had to. What role do you think Justicars have in Asari society? I would say that the closest human equivalent is a knight errant in your medieval lore. Perhaps mixed with a bit of samurai. What does your code say about killing? I am compelled to kill the wicked. If a Justicar is involved, peaceful solutions are long past. You make killing sound so casual. I remember each being I have slain. They are always in my thoughts. Does the code forbid romantic involvement? It does not. However, I would never be interested in such. That part of my life is well behind me. Well, we don't need to <laughs> dig into that anymore. You know about Knights Errant and Samurai? When I knew I must leave Asari space again, I studied the history and morals of new species. When I was a maiden wandering the galaxy, humans had not yet arrived. What did your studies tell you about us? You are more individualistic than any other species I have encountered. If three humans are in a room, there will be six opinions. I like your species. I am curious to see what you will do. I should go. All right. I'm glad we spoke. So I don't think there's more. Perhaps we could speak later. How are you? Perhaps we could speak later. I should go. Of course. Uh, so this deck has been cleared, all the talking has been done, so let's go down to engineering. Talk to Grunt, although Grunt... well... Shepard. Just checking in. How you doing? I'm branching out. Got a list of enemies now. They all give me joy when I picture cutting them, crushing them. There's this one imprint, a Solarian with the... what are they? The, the things on his head pulled apart? Bet it caused a generation of revenge. What is that, a few weeks for them? So what did you want? You know, I kind of thought connecting with your past would bring stability. <laughs> See, now we're having fun. Me remembering good deaths, and you with your... your funny human thing you're doing. My job is to hurt things. Direction, control, that's your job, Battlemaster. You're why I'm a soldier, not dead or crazed like an animal. Thank you, Shepard. You gave me purpose. Now, let's find something big to kill. Okay, not what I envisioned. So, next up, check. Hey. Uh, nothing here, right? What's happening? You got a lot of questions, don't you? 
I miss your friendly nature when you're not around. Been thinking. We've seen a lot of shit together now, and you're always coming to talk to me. Shepard, you got feelings for me? Because I don't need the complication. Then don't worry. I'm not interested. Good. I didn't want you coming around here anymore anyway. Is there a problem, Jack? Can't figure if you're playing me or not. I don't like it. Then stop. You'd like that. Make this about you and what you want. I have to think. Go away. I don't want you coming around here for a while. Hey. Tell me about you, Jack. I'm done talking. Come back later. I should go. Okay. Talk later. All right. So she's confused because for the first time in her life someone generally is interested about her well-being. Shepard, what can I do for you? Have you got time to talk? I really need to clean up this engine. Maybe later? I'll let you work. Talk to you later. Okay. There we go. All the talking done, I think. And we can continue on. Well, no, we haven't talked to Jacob and Morden. Let's catch up on that. Jacob? Commander, can I help you with something? I'm more interested in just talking for a bit. Sounds good. I could use some downtime. There's always something, right? The way some people talk, we may as well be dead already. Hard for the crew to relax on this kind of job. No kidding. The next Normandy gets a lounge. They better not need to do this again. Rebuilding everything was a pain in the ass. I can verify that. Yeah, I bet you can. I doubt they'll front the money to stitch me back together if we screw it up. It's a hell of a job, isn't it, Shepard? Being the good guys. Wouldn't be the high road if it was easy. You've got to figure, if all the people hoping we win stood up, the Collectors would have a much bigger fight on their hands. Claws, whatever. I bet we have a lot more friends once we win. Hope we live to see it. I hear that. Anyway, I need to get back to work. Good talking to you. Well, it's not wrong if all the people that... Uh, their life depended on stopping the Reapers and Collectors would rise up against them, we would have... Well, we... Maybe not we would have an easier job, but they would have a much harder job. Shepard, how can I help? Uh, let's just talk about you. Have you got a minute to talk? Actually, wanted to talk. Medical matters. Aware that mission is dangerous. Different species react differently to stress. Aware you come by a great deal. Have had other species become attracted to me before. Awkward. Not interested. <laughs> Wait a minute, Borden. You're just yanking me around, aren't you? Shocking suggestion. Doctor-patient confidentiality, a sacred trust. Would never dream of mockery. Enjoy yourself while possible, Shepard. We'll be here studying cell reproduction. Much simpler. Less alcohol and mood music required. All right. Shepard, how can I help? Have you got a minute to talk? Yes, personal matters on mind, actually. Oh. Got call from nephew. Promising geneticist himself. Just turned 16, got tenure at university. Following in my footsteps. Had to lie about what I was doing. Think he was suspicious. Doesn't matter. Still good to hear his voice. Does anyone in your family know about what you really did for the government? No. No, I'm lying, but won't pry. Salarians curious as a people, but also have social cues. Keep... Two types of secrets from family. First type, personal or guilt-based. Invite suspicion, exploration, puzzle to be solved. Reward for curiosity, intelligence, drama. Other secrets, more serious. Dangerous, if discovered. Signals discourage curiosity for protection of family. Why wouldn't everyone give clues that their secrets were too dangerous to be uncovered? Not conscious. Social, reflexive body language. Can't fake it. Example, yawning perceived as contagious among humans. Subject observes yawn. Sensory input deactivates left periamygdala region. Subject yawns in response. Social empathy. 
also works with dogs. Salarian faking signals to discourage curiosity, similar to human faking a yawn. Can try, but effectiveness limited. I see. Are you calling him because you're worried we won't make it back? No. Aware survival unlikely, but actually contacted him for family connection. Hard to imagine galaxy. Too many people. Faceless. Statistics easy to depersonalize. Good when doing unpleasant work. For this fight, want personal connection. Can't anthropomorphize galaxy, but can think of favorite nephew. Fighting for him. Your nephew got tenure at 16? Is he a genius or a scientific prodigy? No, wait. Don't want to insult him. Yes, uh, but not in manner you meant. Remember, Salarian lives short, but you're rapidly, by your standards, don't live much past 40. Okay, that's tough. Don't live much past 40, but I guess. So how old is he? I'm glad you got to talk to family before we finish this. And I'm glad we talked too, Gordon. Honored to be part of this, Shepard. Help preserve Galaxy before with Genophage. Dirty work. Ethically ambiguous. Problematic. Collector's mission simpler, cleaner. We'll be proud to see it in Morden's Solus biography bit. Unless we all die. Proud posthumously, in that case, regardless. Thank you. So are all these talks kind of like the the last the last personal talks we have with them? That could be. Uh, like they're thanking me for the Commander, you've received a new message at your private terminal. time we spent and the missions and what new messages are no new messages around. Ah. <clears throat> so let's see, we go back to the mass relay. Also fuel is kind of low. Still made it. And we will... Well, what do we have? We have Help Legion. And nothing else. So I guess we'll go there. Help Legion. And then we're probably off to... Uh, Omega-4. And attempt to jump to the middle of the galaxy. But I, I'm assuming we will do the Help Legion quest next time. Oops. So thanks a lot for watching. Hope you've enjoyed, and hope to see you next time. Have a wonderful evening or day, and goodbye.